streets are flame. It's a mad game, makes you stop and stay. Need an assist, you can resist. We'll make quite a pair. We'll slide on in. Your magic little wicked queen. Take a spin. The evil cannot get us, the who do you do? Places are red, we're getting the deck. They don't have a prayer. <laughs> Something strange from far beyond is haunting all my dreams. Everything looks inside out, not quite as it seems. Oh, slide on in, magic little wicked queen. Come on, take the spin. The evil cannot get us, we'll take them on jackpot stakes. In boots on a Saturday night. Yeah, we're gonna roast some nerds today. I'm a nerd, but it really don't matter. We're gonna do a little roasting chat. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, everybody? How you doing? How you doing? Today, I wasn't gonna stream today. I got actually for fucked up and didn't do an update on my computer but that's probably a good thing it is thursday april 13th i will be in la friday saturday 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 free seed day at masonics on fairfax and that's some shit we don't have enough clones i was gonna hand out some free clones chat but uh with the nursery having the hundred dollar sell on everything we're blowing out and we don't have enough there might be some scraps. I don't know. Take advantage of it. Uh, I'm going to try to put some stuff up online tonight. We'll see what we got as far as stock. And I will have a uh, 50% off uh, coupon. So you guys get some goodies, all right? You guys get your goodies on. Give you the player 420 special. I'm not sure if anyone else is doing anything, but I don't think anyone wants to fuck with my $100 hundred dollar cut situation i do have a pair a size eight i want to say it's a size eight pair of foam runners i'm gonna put up they're brand new they're knocks they're not they're they're reps but i'm gonna put them up on the website so someone could come up i'll probably just have them for like 100 bucks cheap bro cheap bro so this morning chat this morning i was uh laying in bed watching youtube and this one video came up that was low key. It was cute. It was cute. It was a cute video. Had nothing to do with me at all. Had to do with uh, Adam Ill actually. It seemed like Adam Ill got kind of upset about it. Was like, what the fuck? Uh, you think they're nines, eights, and Yeezys too small for you? Okay, we'll see. They might be nines. Yeah, I think they're nines. My lady don't like foam runners. I think she would look cute in them, but she thinks otherwise. I can't make her wear clothes she don't want to wear, bruh. Can't make her do shit she don't want to do, bruh. But, yeah, this video was, uh, that I saw was kind of cute. Kind of cute. Um. Let me do this, huh? Let's run with this a little bit since we're here. Ding. Alright. Streamception. Which one do you look at? I don't know. Shit. Adam. <laughs> Adam the third <laughs> people are calling him Adam the third because they saw ill and then it was like they thought it was Adam the third dude it's Adam ill <laughs> can of shill I mean Adam ill turf exclusive damn dog damn dog damn dog you know what chat hold on before we even do this hold on man hold on man let's do this Let's roll some weed up. Let's roll some weed up first. I got some Skittles from the homie Dark Horse. I'm not gonna lie, chat. At first, I was gonna grab a massive handful, but I just grabbed this, like, heavy quarter. Almost a half ounce. Thanks, Dark Horse. Thanks, Dark Horse. This guy, I love... <laughs> I love going to Jason's house, Dark Horse's house, because this guy... You know how, like, I have jars of weed, chat? I'm like, this is my, my supply. This guy just rolls around with a turkey bag of weed, dude. He has like the, the small ass pipe. I'll have a small ass pipe, dude. 
And this giant one pound bag of weed, just like regular, it is pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, the kid does need to understand that you can't just go around calling grown man bitches. There are consequences for words. We'll get to all that. We'll get to all that. Trust me. Trust me, chat. We will be getting to that situation. A certain things, especially when you're like, you're young, right? You're new to this shit. Like, there's certain etiquette. It's just, it, this This is a prime example of the devalue, like how people are devaluing cuts. Like, they don't understand the roads that were taken and the, the etiquette involved. You know? <clears throat> they just think, oh, all cuts are 20 bucks, dude. They don't work like that. All, are, are all vehicles 20 bucks? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going What was old? The Wii was old? Not really. The Skittles. If you know anything about Skittles, you know about the bag appeal. I shouldn't have to explain that. That's, a noob, that's some noob shit. This is actually fresh. This is actually probably within three weeks old. Oh, exhibit? Exhibit is fucking. It was all. You've called grown men bitches? I usually say it to their face rather than online. You know what I mean? It has more impact when you're looking them in the eye. When you look them in the eye and you're like. Wait, what's this? Hold on. Sorry. When you look them in the eye and tell them that shit, it's different. Because online, they, you know, they can bark back and hook, wolf all this shit. But when you're in their face. You know, when you're when you're in their face, it's different, dude. Just like that Tiki Man shit. He wanted to run his mouth online on IG and then get all my accounts banned. But when I was up to his face, that during, dude turned ghost. He turned bright white and just dipped. He didn't want to say or do anything. You know, that's how half these motherfuckers are. I've been doing this shit for fucking ten years, traveling, doing events and booths. You know how many threats I get. With haters? Oh, you come to my town, bro. I'm blowing your head off. You come to my town, I'm fucking your booth up. Never once to this day has it ever happened. Those people, I don't know, man. There's weird, weird people out there, man. And then saying and doing things for clicks and shit, that could end you real fast. They can end you real fast, especially if you fuck with the wrong one. They'll go digging on your shit and bring out a bunch of facts on your ass, dude. You can't really hide from facts, you know? All these keyboard warriors, they find out when the facts come around, they really ain't shit. Especially like YouTube. That la the YouTube landscape is fucking weird, man. YouTube landscape is weird. Oh, my wife called a, a girl. He called. She called Vader a bitch and a, a plethora of other names. He didn't do shit. But when you have facts, like I said, chat, people want to talk shit until facts are there. Then you can't really talk shit anymore because all the facts are right there in front of your face. Things that actually happen, not just like assumptions or hearsay or, you know what I'm saying? Any shit like that. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me open up this video real quick. Facts are... Uh, what I said, sorry for <laughs> It must be, dude. Uh, Chris from Mr. Beast is getting hounded, huh? For being transgender, for coming out and just being him. Kind of sad, dude. All right, who is this guy? I think this guy follows me actually on Twitch. I think he follows me on Twitch, dude. Milky, what's up? I think this dude follows me, actually. This guy, obviously, all right. He, I feel like this dude is just trying, right? He's just putting out a bunch of stuff to see what's up. Get click. Click comments, is it clickbait? Probably. It's probably clickbait, this guy. We'll give him some views and some attention. You know, he's gonna like it. A Liger 420. 
223 subs, 51 videos. Dude, the Mr. Beast memes are fucking gnarly, dude. <laughs> Hold on, did I have, do I have anything up? Let's check my channel real quick. I got anything new up? We got the the White Buffalo review, and then we got the slow mo backflip. <laughs> Fuck, 11 years ago. I put this video up 11 years ago? Damn, chat. It's crazy. It's been a long time, huh? Look at this. Right, I'll get to him later. Yeah, I saw some of those Mr. Beast memes. I was like, damn. Chris is, that he that dude's taking it on the chin, huh? Let's check this dude out. <clears throat> he has good, he has good thumbnails. The thumbnails are pretty good, dude. This is every Emerald Cup winner. Did Face Clan fall off? Or did you grow up? It's Reigns Runts bad? What the fuck? WeTuber tier list? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what is FUMO? The Rise of Goblin. Does Instagram meta still work? Rapper versus influencer, what is better? Why did this YouTuber disappear? Why is this YouTuber so hated? How to become a weed tuber in 2023? <laughs> Raw wants to silence his this weed tuber. Eric Khan faked his video and I don't care. This weed tuber survived Instagram hell. <laughs> he shows him do this like no one even gives a fuck about. Weed tuber that quit for OnlyFans. Update on the weed tuber that disappeared. Blinkers caught this weed tuber's lungs to collapse. Then this Adam Ill is jealous of the cart community. What? No, he's not. How oh, Mr. THC changed the game. Changed the game or changed? Explaining the generations of weed tube. The CEO of Secret Sesh is upcoming is an upcoming weed tuber. I think Adam Ill doesn't like me, but <laughs> these are the guys' videos, dude. Hello, beautiful. All right, I got a doink of some Skittles rolled up. I think I might see third gen this Saturday. I think he's pulling up. I'll, I'll give him some of these Skittle nugs. I'll just act like they're mine. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. That's lame. Secret Sesh is an up and coming weed tuber? Secret Sesh has been around for a minute. What Secret Sesh just about? smokes weed. He don't fucking. But he, he dabs. I mean, I'll say he does, that he does a lot. Boring. Well, That's chill. Why I, chill. You need to shut the fuck up and chill for a second. That's wife. why I do not watch him. Well, first off, you're spitting like we're talking about facts here, okay? Well, it's He's actually, before you start getting worked up, chill for a second. He's actually done a lot. He's part with Moxie. He does a lot, but he's... I wouldn't call him a weed tuber, but I don't really watch his weed tubes, so I can't really say that. I wouldn't call him a weed tuber either. I would say he's in the community. I personally just don't watch his videos because I find him boring. That's fine. That's a lot of it. people find me boring, too. That's all I was saying. I wasn't <clears throat> My wife feisty today. I'm about to fucking chop no, her head off. I wasn't discrediting him and what he's done in the weed You community. don't disrespect Secret Sesh Tim. I just said okay? I think he's boring as fuck. Shit. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look at my streams. I get like five, uh, six people in them, so I'm obviously boring as well. So. All right, let's see. Let's start with this. We'll probably, we'll probably go over Eric Khan, too, dude. We'll go over everybody. Actually, you know what? This is what I want to see. WeTuber tier list chat. What is this? What is this WeTuber? All right. This video is for education and entertainment. I do not promote anything I talk. What? All right. Welcome back to another video. Wait, what? Hold on. It's a little off center. Could be pulled up a little higher. This video is for education and entertainment. I do not promote anything I talk. Emperor, how you doing, bro? Emperor got hit by a car, chat. He's alive. Tim can't rip. He double check, mate. <laughs> Dark Girls, what up? Dark Horse. Hey, buddy. 
<laughs> you probably heard me talking. I was like, I, I think I'm going to see third gen this week. And I was like, I'm going to give him a nug of the Skittles that I got from you and tell him it's mine. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> All right. This video is for educational and entertainment. I do not promote anything I talk. I see right there. I would already click away from it. I think about it was underneath that part. Let's go on from here. Let's see the WeTuber list. All right, welcome back to another video. We're going to go and make a tier list of all the WeTubers. Okay, this dude sounds like he probably had a mild stroke and slightly overweight, but that's okay. It's not all of them. I, both, I'm so about the, the same, but just skinny. And, and First off, let's see who's down here. All right, there's Cupins. I don't know who the fuck that is, or that, or this dude, or that guy, or that guy. Dope is Yola. Drew. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, that's Goblin. The only reason I know him because is how much his face is around everywhere. Uh, I think that's LMC, newer guy. Uh, this is the guy, Matthias. I don't know who that chick is. That's the homie custom. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That's Ericon. Um, Yeah, there's a lot missing here. You can tell this guy's new. He's new to the scene. I'm sorry. I just, I've never heard of you or I've never seen of you. And that's no diss towards you or your favorite, like, VTuber. I just don't know Okay, let's go. He's only 19. I already had my first strain by the time he was born, dog. This guy can't even buy weed yet. Hold on. Wait. This kid's 19, can't even buy weed yet. But he's a weed tuber. Our relationship I don't think is older he's, than him. I don't think he's even grown a plant yet. Let's move on. Okay, we got an S tier, A, B, C, and D. There's no F. It's not really good for you, and they just do it, or like... Cupids? Are you starting to say Cupids? You know, that type of shit. I, I fuck with, I fuck with. And his Twitch streams are just fire. He, he does like crazy shit on them. Ooh. I fuck with, I fuck with Cupids. He's gonna go in like, he's gonna go in there. He has to go in there. Alright, next is <laughs> Kimmy Tan. Okay. Now, I fuck with Kimmy okay. Tan, but the thing is, I'm not a female, and I, uh, you can obviously, you can obviously tell yeah. by the content. Yeah. <laughs> Goats. He does like crazy shit. I fuck with him, bro. Cupin plays like Cupins is cool. Cupin plays like World of Warcraft and gets crossfaded, bro. Cupin stays in his lane. Cupin's cool. No, but I'm saying, but he stays, he in, stays his in his lane. lane. He's a custody games. Yeah, that's, I like Cupins. But that's what he, you know what I mean? That's what he's about. Like he's not cool. I still fuck with her. I still fuck with her content. She does like yeah, sit fuck. down. Talk Where's Khan? Khan's Khan down here. Khan. Khan's right here. And she does some mukbangs occasionally. I, 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 I Raul G. Which one's Raul G? Sometimes it's just not like it's not meant for me because like it's obviously. Oh, like, I remember Raul G. He's this guy right here, right? I still fuck. This dude. I'm gonna put her in like I'm gonna put her in a. I think she deserves that. All right. He's OG at this point. Ruben smokes and Ruben smokes is kind of like Back Eric that. Khan. Backwards hat white boy. This one. Type videos and it's pretty cool honestly. He's a, he's an upcoming he's an upcoming like VTuber. Ooh, I fuck upcoming. With, I fuck with Ruben Smokes. I know recently he had some stuff going on in his life, so shout out to Ruben uh, Smokes. Fuck. Honestly, well, yeah, it's almost non-existent. Stream boring. Raul G owes you three dollars. He's an upcoming guy. I think I think in a couple of years he could, be, he could be in like A, uh, maybe even oh, yeah. F. Honestly, maybe even F. Chat. Right, first off, first off, let's look at the let's look at what's going on around here. We have a 19-year-old that can't even buy weed legally at most dispensaries. Talking about weed tubers. All right. <clears throat> I don't think the kid kid obviously has never gone into a dispensary. Probably has never seen a live marijuana plant in his life, and definitely hits carts. Probably is a big fan of Moon Rocks. Proceeding. Show and Strange Show, he makes actually pretty cool videos. He makes like educational videos about like cannabis and shit, and some stuff you honestly wouldn't know. Like he talks about like Delta A, the terpenes and that kind of stuff, and he talks about just like uh. Cussy talk. This motherfucker said Delta about, Eight. Like, reclaiming your in your uh dab breaks and that kind of stuff. Talking about smoking stuff reclaim. That's, like, more educational, and I fuck with. To me, that says I don't have a good plug. Or I'm not in an area where I could go get weed, so I gotta smoke my reclaim and Delta Eight. 
Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, he lied to Otherwise, why, like, why yeah, bother? Honestly, if there's weed out there, why, why would you fuck with anything else just to be like, oh, let me experiment? Like, you're just gonna come back and buy the real thing. You know what I'm saying? Why are you gonna fuck with Delta Eight and CBD and all this shit when there's plenty of good weed around? Cause you a custy and can't get the real shit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think Tell me I'm wrong. Just like Ruben. Otherwise, you're just, you're getting paid. Otherwise, if you're talking about Delta Eight or CBD at this point at all, you're getting paid. You're an ad, dude. You're just a billboard. Pretty cool. He's up and coming. How's your coffee mix? Really good, thank you. Feels good with this Skittles grown out from Dark Horse right, Genetics. I do I do Mike like Skittles and coffee. YouTuber, really good. It's a really good mix. Dark Horse, if you're still here, bro, Skittles and coffee. Good, I, I Try it. This guy wears ankle like, socks and flip flops. Well, like ankle socks and Nike slides. Or Adidas right slides. Now, though, I think <laughs> the realest, nicest human has to be Raw OG. All right, next I'll check him out. THC. I'll check him out. And Mr. THC is pretty chill. He makes like the... He makes the content you think would pop off. He goes out and talks to people, does giveaways out in the street. Isn't it raw G? Smoking, smoking with random. Uh, bro, a one to one is like nice. It's a nice ratio. Do good in algorithm. Oh, I am following him. Also, his tattoos are cool as shit. I never I'm see cool him go live, dude. When's the last time this motherfucker went live? All right, next is Dopezilla, and I don't even, I don't even. A video is a schedule. Blame myself while I'm doing this. But he goes Nothing back, about him. Honestly. I think everybody knows. Dopozilla is... Maybe he's one of those that's a YouTube person and then made a Twitch. He just has the craziest people. And he has There's no videos up or nothing. He's, he's not partner. He has Lamar from GTA. The guy that, do, that does the voice acting for Lamar. We put Dopozilla at the, the top. That's just dope as... The, the voice for Lamar? That's the same dude that's Black Jesus. Yeah. Where's his picture at? What's he talking about? Shit, honestly. Like... That's just that's just cool voice acting for Lamar on podcast where he just has the craziest people and he has Tony Hawk going. He had the dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Dope is Yola is tight. GTA. I like Dope is Yola. He has great production and great interviews. GTA. I wouldn't mind getting interviewed with him, but I don't think I'm that great of a person. That's just that's just cool. I'm not out there like that. I fuck with him. He deserves ass. He more so a YouTuber. Okay. He first started on. All right, next is Drew, and Drew is fire. I love yeah, we should do the same thing on YouTube. Drew does like put Drew up top. He's just a Drew is fire. Like, he's in Amsterdam right now, but he's like kids and me slang, man. Of, uh, <clears> I still like my old school slang. That shit's cool. Yeah, I actually hooked up Drew because he's a big Star Dog fan, and we're talking. I was in his Twitch chat, and he brought up something about JJ, so I linked him up with JJ from Top Dog to get his interview. So, little fun fact: if it wasn't for me. Drew would have probably never got a hold of JJ because he don't talk to strangers like that, especially going on weird YouTube interviews. Pretty much asked him to go on Drew is sharing interviews so Drew could get that that plug. I was hoping Drew would have gave me a shout out, you know, and help bring people to my YouTube, but I didn't ask or look for it. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? That's my own fault for not bringing it up. Like, hey, I'm going to do this, but, you know, give me some love. But he does rate me from time to time. He has a lot of viewers on here on Twitch. He does give me love. He does I've give just, me love. He does. He does. That's I've why I'm not even it. tripping. I've jumped into his streams every once in a while. Like when you and I haven't been together just because uh -huh. I'm like, oh, I know this watches it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Drew's chill. I mean, there's some things that are a little off. And that's just, I think, the island hop distance. Like UK versus Cali. Like <clears throat> he put up one post saying like Cali has a bad fake weed thing i was like bro you guys have it worse than we do trust me half like i would say 90 percent of the stuff out in europe is renamed fake just shoved in a mylar or a fucking can of weed but you guys remember the can canned weed came in like little tuna cans i was talking shit on people like instead of bag seed they're getting canned seed now it remind me <laughs> of the it remind me of the fucking what's they're called the california sense the car air freshener mm -hmm. cans little air freshener tanks and shit but thank you, Lone Dabber. I mean, I wouldn't mind going on these. I'm going to start going on more interviews and getting out there and do more YouTube shit. I'm getting tired of seeing all this weird shit, these weird people. He's almost S tier. I would give him like another year, let a couple more videos pop off. He had like a drug, um, 
the <coughs> drug iceberg video that did really well and I fucked with it a lot. Alright, next is Raul OG and I fuck with Raul OG, okay? He makes uh he makes videos when he says Califac but he goes out and does shit like yeah. uh, a lot of But I'm saying but that's that's part of the thing, and, it's uh, being called the Cali Pack. No, uh, yeah. That's what Ninja was saying. Snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of that. You can't take any of them serious. They talk big shit and have no clue about actual growing our cultivars. Yeah. The one thing that kind of rubbed me wrong, Drew found a bag seed out of something. I was like, oh, man, my homie pop it. We're going to call it Drew's fucking whatever. I was like, bro, you can't just do that. You can't just do that. You can't you work with a breeder and make your own strain. Don't just get a bag seed. Because when someone says, oh, how did you get your, your own strain, Drew? Oh, I bought this fucking Custy pack and found a bag seed and popped it and just called it my own shit. Uh, what? Okay, you know what I mean? Like, then. instead of saying, oh, I, I hit up this, I hit up Stone Ninja and he made my own strain with all the stuff I wanted. It took, you know, a few months to a year, depending, you know, depending on what I got up my sleeve. But yeah, you know, it took about a year and this is what we got. I have a question. I've done strains for Ill Bill. You guys know who Ill Bill is, a rapper? You can hit him up. Hey, do you know Stone Ninja? Did he make Cannibal Hulk and Labella Medusa for you? He will say yes. And he almost every time I go to New York, I hang out with Ill Bill. We go and smoke out. One time, he had some situation where he wasn't really supposed to smoke weed, but we still smoked some weed anyways. I felt bad. I was like, bro, if you get in trouble with your lady, dude, don't throw my name out there. But I don't go like chat. With me, I don't sit here and flex. And and try to impress people. I don't give a fuck about that. Like if you fuck with me, you fuck me with me. If not, then it's all good. I'm gonna keep pushing. But I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, look at all this great shit I've done or am doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't go I don't go looking for that shit. Even though at this point I probably should just for marketing and to push myself and to show people like, look, these guys are clowns. You're following kind of like dumbasses you should get with more legit people that actually do this shit and have been in it for like decades instead of these guys that are like oh you know what? i discovered weed about five years ago and i think it's great and moon rocks are dope and i fucking hit the blinker and i love my disty edibles like can i just say this huh. i mean I'm, I'm gonna toot my own horn right now but i'm actually proud of myself considering my involvement in weed life I don't talk about shit. You don't. My wife knows more than this does. This guy does. Yeah. But I won't. I'm not gonna talk about shit that <clears throat> I can't say. Like, if there's lots of like, well, you know, I'm not sure. Unless you have facts. Unless I have facts, then I'm you won't not speak on it. Gonna talk about it. Yeah. There's no need to. Drew, exactly. See each other. Like I said, my lady, Drew. she she knows more than this guy does. But it is what it is. That's just experience. This guy will eventually catch up. This dude, as kind of lame as he is right now, I mean, technically, a lot of us start out lame as fuck, right? Lame as fuck. But then you get good. You understand. You learn. So hopefully this guy, I feel, I feel like this dude has potential. You know, I'm just being Switzerland right now. All right, this guy has potential, but he needs to understand the realm he's going into. You know what I mean? And you gotta think of the future, like, okay, how is my perception? What is the perception gonna be of me and my channel? Like, do you want your channel to actually be informative, or do you want to be clickbaity drama bullshit? Like, what? Like, what do you want? You know. I think this this kid, uh, like I said, he has potential, but he, I think he needs to be a little more thought out and do more research. Like, really spend more time doing research. Uh, videos in the UK. Otherwise, he's going to say a lot of dumb a lot shit and look stupid. Eric Collins said he was smoking GMO for two plus years and didn't know what it stood for. Then I found out yesterday it stands for garlic mushroom onion. I almost pissed myself, showed off how much of a custody he was. Yes, that is very false. It does not mean garlic mushroom onion. Whoever said that is a fucking idiot. Whoever continues to believe that, you're being fooled and you're uneducated. Real quick, since we're bringing this up, for all you people that think GMO means garlic mushroom onion, you are wrong as fuck. I spoke with the guy that found the cut of GMO, all right? Old Mr. Skunk Master Flex, which I've done some work with him 
and crosses and shit between him and California Seed Bank. GMO does not stand for that. GMO is a forum Girl Scout cookie crossed to a Chem D. All right. That those are the crosses. And during that time when that strain was being made, the Girl Scouts got in trouble because they're using some Monsanto nasty shit, you know, uh, within their ingredients. Like pesticides were being sprayed. It was nasty fucking Monsanto GMO, genetically modified organism situation. So, with that being said, during that era, with the cross being a Chem D and a Forum Girl Scout cookie, he found the pheno of what was uh, garlic cookies or Chem cookies, right? It's Chem cookies from Amico Seed Bank. It's from Amico Seed Bank, by the way. He found a pheno of that seed stock and deemed it, aka called it, the GMO. That's where GMO and the name and the history, that is complete correct information what i just told you and it makes complete sense you got a girl scout <clears throat> cookie and a chem so you have a chemical and a girl scouts who just got in trouble for having chemical pesticides in their shits yeah so for everyone to say that it's garlic mushroom onion you're a fucking idiot okay you're stupid you're not looking your facts up you're a clown and everyone that believes you is a fucking clown Stop misleading people, and like I said, go back and get the facts. Stop being a fucking lazy weed tuber, and get the facts before you start running your mouth and look like a fucking dumbass. Because everyone else that knows what's up gonna look at you and be like, "He's just a custy, bro." All right, and and for you guys that are custies, don't don't take it the wrong way. Custy to me is just some weed head slang. All right. There's levels of custy. There's the custy iceberg. We should go over the custy iceberg. All right, I'm pretty sure someone's going to fucking hear this and do it themselves and steal more of my ideas. It's I mean, I'm good. technically a custy when I buy hash. <clears throat> I'm still a custy at a point. I still buy shit. When I go to stores and review and see what's good. You know I what I'm saying? I think the custy connotation is the one that is the one that just purchases their, their weeds. I think they listen to rap songs and buy their weed from that. It or what their friends say. They're not doing that. The no, it's not the one that's that's trimmed. It's not the one that's cloned. It's not the one that's grown. It's not the one that has anything to do with weed other than procuring it <laughs> and yeah. ingesting it however they ingest it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, old man old man Rabo's top tapped in for sure. Top old man Rob is definitely know, tapped in. Yeah, Dojo down under like representative, one hundred percent. Hello. Oh, woo. We all have a custy side. We all. I'm a custy. You're a custy. We all have custy side, bro. The same. There's just levels to it. All right. Trust me. If I'm a custy, you a custy, bro. It's cool as shit, honestly. You're a seed custy? Uh, Me too. <laughs> I'm a seed whore. Alright, I just I, totally I, I didn't even pay attention like, to this part. I think he deserves, like, I think he deserves an A tier, honestly. He's up there. In okay. Right, a tier? Next is X Cody, and X Cody doesn't really do, like, weed videos. He smokes in his videos sometimes. Who the fuck is I, X Cody? I don't know who that is. Who's Nate420? Fire, honestly. He's fire. And Nate420, I don't think. It's, it's Nate420. He's the fucking... Who's that? Clout demon, fucking. Clout I, demon. I, I can't fuck with him. The stuff he does online, he called he called out Dope as Yola. Dope as Yola does nothing. This dude on Twitter oh, just yeah. fucking beefs with nice. anybody. He's kind of a clout demon. He's he's dying. He has to be. They were born in San Antonio. I he, once upon he, a he time lived in El Paso. He has to be like the least fan favorite like YouTuber. He's just not yeah. cool. He's just not cool at all. All right, next is Goblin, and I. I, I have to put Goblin in there. He doesn't do weed videos, but he does has a lot of video and stories about weed. Dope as Yola. Dope as Yola does nothing. This dude on Twitter just fucking beefs with anybody. He's kind of a clout demon. He's he's dying. He has to be in D, honestly. He's he's my he has to be the least. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to what this guy's saying. He's kind of like it's kind of like what he this he's doing. Dope as Yola. Dope as Yola does nothing. This dude on Twitter just fucking beefs with anybody. He's kind of a clout demon. Wait, first he said, he said dope as Yola does nothing. What? 
He called he called out Dope as Yola. Dope as Yola oh, calling okay. out, him. out. Right. This dude on Twitter just fucking beef with anybody. He's kind of a clout demon. He's he's dying. Listen he to has this. DMD, honestly. He's he's my he has to be the least he has to be like the least fan mm. favorite like VTuber. He, Goblin. I, I have to put Goblin. In <clears throat> All right, next is LMC. This guy, LMC, he has LMC some cool videos out. Interesting, but... Eh. As much as the other people, but he does... Next this guy. Let me... I've a lot of Matias videos. I fuck with Matias. <laughs> Gero's like, Goblin need to be all the way at the bottom. Goblin a meth head? Bro, that dude look, looks like he's like... Pushing 300. <laughs> this dude pushing like almost three hundred. What do you mean? I've never, I've never met a <laughs> healthy fucking man before. <laughs> Maybe he smokes enough weed to counteract it or something. Honestly, the best vibes ever. He goes. Matthias, the stuff. first time I saw this guy, he was slamming like a slab into a tiny ass rig and just letting the oil go everywhere. And I was like, yeah, clown shit. I was like, I'm good on that. Matthias is just low key, just like. Timmy, it's I don't like. Know. It's was really, it silence it's really hippie. Females, but she does videos like oh, is this Sasha hippie? She cool. I think she's probably one of the she nice. Female, like, Every time she raids me, she she's very polite. Like Every time I go on her stream, she's always like she, stoked, she really dude. Like, she's right, cool. Probably other ones that did before she her. cool. Who the fuck is this? All right, NDK. Is NDK. And NDK. NDK doesn't make videos no more. But yeah, shout out Sasha. She's cool, man. He was the first YouTuber I got. To me, Sasha is like a good. A good face or a name for like potheads, you know what I mean? Like innocent, have fun, good vibes. Let's do some cool shit, random stoner shit. You know what I mean? It's like the first person to get me into like watching weed videos, and just for that, I put him. <clears throat> he he he's, he should come back, but I don't think he is. You like koala puffs. He, he did I know koala puffs and and uh, <laughs> Jolly Oli had a little situation. Involving giving away a puppy for a giveaway. Yeah, she got upset. Like, how? Like, basically, the the puppy was gonna suffer, and you can't just expect it to go to a good home. Like, I saw some of her points. Like, you can't just give away a puppy like that and expect it to go to go to a good home or yada yada. And it's kind of like, wait, I kind of see your point, but but that's the same thing when you go when anyone can go fucking adopt a dog from the pound. Yeah. There's like, even though you sign paperwork, mm -hmm. there's no guarantee that you're going to take. Exactly. And you're getting it from the pound, and that's the pound. Exactly. Your, your fucking and local government releasing this animal to you. Yeah, so there's a whole drama going back and forth with that. It, that was. Oh my God. That was fucking. Was like funny. Like Air Con, but over a, over a giveaway of her puppy stuff, dude. Spot, They're just ripping on each other, getting now, each other fucking life, suspended and banned. I fucked with it. NDK is fire. He was my first like VTuber I started watching. He's he has to be aged. I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who like most of these people are, chat. Bentley Blaze? I don't know the fuck that is. Eric Count. I think that's where he is forever. Eric Count. I try to reach out to him, dude. Like, yo, let's sesh, but I don't know what it is. Then these guys want to link up and sesh. Like, they want to. Like, they'll be in chat, like, yeah, dude, let's do it. Yada, yada. And I'll reach out, no response. Like, or I don't know if they're just like saying that in front of everyone to look cool and be like, yo, like, if you don't want to fuck with me, just don't just say it. Like, nah. I'm Maybe good. they're afraid because you smoke such good and so much weed that they're not used it. to it. I don't get that. I mean, he could go to the store and find out. I've seen it in the past with people around you. Like, go check I'm out the Stone Ninja. Oh, Stone Ninja, yeah. Your and the company. next thing you know, they're fucking tucked in the corner, like, dog, I thought you said you smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Con, he like, he kind of like uh, revolutionized the the whole Wii game. He like did revolutionized the Wii most game. People were doing at the time, and I fuck different with styles. He his Twitch streams. I watched so many of his Twitch streams. Different I styles. His, his I think it's. Streams. I don't know. I have to he, disagree with that. Aircon is top. Eric Con's cool though. He's, like, Conte, he's laid back. He's very polite. You know, if you like the video, please subscribe. He runs a positive stream. He clowns little, it's all good.